That's the way the church should be. Well, if you have your Bibles this morning for a few moments, it's been a great service. Sometimes the preaching comes first, sometimes, you know, God you singing, preaching, whatever. But it's the Holy Spirit that brings people down. It's that Holy Ghost movement. And if you ever lose that, you're not going to have service like this. No, we're going to come in and sit and look at each other for an hour and go home wondering where we've been. Hallelujah. I know where I've been this morning. I've been in the presence of a holy God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, in the 13th chapter of Romans 8 and 9, for whether we live, we live unto the Lord, or whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. <clears throat> for to this end Christ both died and rose and revived that he might be Lord both of the dead and the living. Amen. Now, I belong to God this morning. I belong to the Lord. He's my Lord today. If I die today, he's still my Lord. You see, he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you, but I'll be with you even unto the end of the world. Now, God wants us to have an excellent spirit. Now, in the Bible, it describes Daniel as having an excellent spirit. I thank God this morning for an excellent spirit. I mean one that when you come in after your week's work, after you've been trampled on and fussed at maybe and everything else and nothing seems to turn out right, and you walk into the house of God amongst a bunch of people that has the excellent spirit of God in them, all at once that starts to fade away, you forget about it, and you know that it wasn't as bad as you thought it was because you've walked into the excellent spirit of an almighty God. I thank the Lord this morning that we've got an excellent spirit in this house. We've got an excellent spirit in the hearts of people. Yes. And those that came forth today to be anointed, pray for other things, and once they want to get saved, thank God she is uh, sitting back there and got saved this morning. And we thank the Lord for that, how that God moves upon us. But friend, that only comes by because we have an excellent spirit. Now, there's people in the Bible that lived for the Lord, they died for the Lord, but thank God in both instances, they had a, a, an excellent spirit. There was a man who went around and he was blaspheming churches, he was throwing people in jail, he was the honorest fellow ever was when it comes to the church. He hated them with a passion, but one day he was riding a mule or a horse, whatever it was, down to the road to Damascus, and all of a sudden he was thrown off that horse. That horse didn't throw him off, but thank God that power and spirit from heaven threw him off onto the ground. Do you know there's things that God can do in that excellent spirit that man can't even think about doing? And he fell upon the ground, and then uh, as he lay there, he saw this great light shine around about him. Nobody else saw it because no one else had the excellent spirit. But Paul, in that instant from that horse to the ground, realized there's something more than what he'd been doing. He was on his way to destroy a church. He's on his way to tear it down, throw him in jail, saying you can't worship anymore. There might be somebody out there this morning that's on their way to come and destroy this church. They may be somebody out there uh, with a submachine gun got out this morning and was going to somebody's church to destroy it. But you know, the excellent spirit of God from heaven might have come down, laid upon them, brought them to their knees, and thank God the next time they go to church, it won't be to destroy it, but it'll be to build it up and praise God and give glory, see people saved and anointed by the Holy Ghost, and that is the way the excellent spirit works. Paul didn't have an excellent spirit until Jesus touched him. I want you to know that I didn't have an excellent spirit until Jesus touched me. I wanted to do better. I tried to do better, but instead I did worse. But thank God when the Holy Ghost got a hold of me, I opened my eyes and saw my life just like Jesus saw it. And I realized there's something greater than me. And I thought I wanted that more than anything else in the world. So I traded my sins for salvation. And praise God, I got the best of the trade. There's nothing else I've ever had in my life to last as long as this has. 
and owe my car and owe material, all that sort of thing, and got a blessing from it every day of my life, whether I was home, whether I was away, whether I was in the lonely fields of Korea, wherever I was at, there was a never a day go by that that extra spirit of God didn't come into my presence and touch me and let me know that everything was all right and going to be all right just to hang in there and trust in him and thank God this morning, 60 years later, I'm still standing here I'm still trusting in God and I still have an excellent spirit because that day when I bowed before an altar of prayer and the heavens opened up and God poured out a spirit and a blessing upon me by the blood of Christ that I couldn't get anywhere else but thank God I got it that night. I've had it all these years. And you know what? The great thing about it is when I close my eyes in death, I'm still going to have that excellent spirit of the Lord because if you live in the Lord, you die in the Lord. Hallelujah. You're still in the Lord. I'm in the Lord this morning in the body. But praise God, there will be a day when this body will fail me and I will no longer be in the Lord in the body. But praise God, I'll be in in the Lord in that new body because if I live in the Lord I die in the Lord I'm going to be resurrected in the Lord and thank God I'll be set free from this tabernacle that's decaying every day that I live and I'll have a new tabernacle whose builder and maker is God because he had an excellent spirit just for me praise the Lord and he's got one just for you hallelujah <clears throat> Well, there was a day when they came and told Jesus that Lazarus had died. Lazarus was a well-thought-of man. Everybody loved Lazarus. You can tell that from what little the Bible says about him. Martha and Mary had just seemingly lost their wits. I mean, they lost, this, they lost their brother, and they must have loved him deeply and dearly. They must have thought the world of him. Must have been somebody they depended on. Must have been somebody that they had no one else to go to, that they'd go to Lazarus. But now they're still wiping their tears and going out in the mourning clothes and everything else to mourn for him. But thank God, you know what? We do that down here. We lose loved ones. And we go to the funeral. We go to the casket. We go to the places. And we look at the empty rooms that they used to fill. And we mourn for them. But thank the Lord, even before, uh, even before it's all over, we know that if we're living for the Lord, there's something down in here that stirs within us. And if they're saved by the grace of God and they died in the Lord, that song that Sherry sang, you ain't seen the last of me. If I leave here today and they haul me off, you never see me again. I want you to know that if you'll continue living in the Lord, you will never see the last of me because I'm going to meet you again. Praise God on the other side. Hallelujah. I won't be preaching to you, but I'm a, whoo, hallelujah. I'll be in the congregation with you. We'll be walking down the street of gold. We'll be walking through the gates of pearl. We'll look at the walls of jasper. We'll, oh, hallelujah. And then we'll take hand in hand a stroll with the Lord Jesus Christ himself because if we live in the Lord, we die in the Lord, we're going to be with the Lord all eternity when we leave this world. Woo! Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ain't that shouting ground, brother? When you talk about them streets of gold, when you talk about those walls of jasper and gates of pearl, that almost makes you shout. But when you started talking about the one that saved you and redeemed you and set you free and gave you a life worth living in this world and a life better in the other world, man, that is shouting 